Okay, everybody, I'm back. I realize that in my last video, I said that was going to be the last video, but I've had comments, uh, people wondering how to make hot pepper powder, so that sort of prompted me to say, well, you know what, maybe I will make one more video. Why not? So this video is going to involve how to make hot pepper powder and it's actually going to be another update because that frost did not kill my pepper plants so that's what we got in store today these are my dried Jamaican hot chocolate habaneros uh, this is all from one plant this should be more than enough for me for an entire year these are the Fatalis, so many that they spill off the plate. I got the Coke can in there for a size comparison. Uh, I still have not tasted the Fatali yet. I'm looking forward to it, and today I'm going to be making Fatali powder. That's what I'm going to show you anyway. These are the Boot Um I would guess that this is more than enough for me. I have no idea if or how I will use it, but I grew it for the novelty, so I'm sure I'll have to try it sometime. Takanatsumi, nice big bag full. Uh, these are still the ones from last year. This is a brown habanero, that canister is full. This is a red habanero, scotch bonnet. These are from this year. Uh, these are actually my uh, jalapenos, some of my jalapenos. So they've been dried. I'll make powder out of those when I want to. Okay, so this is the reason why I have brought you here. This is how I make powder. This is a coffee grinder. And I use it specifically for making spice powder. I buy spices whole and then I grind them myself. Uh, this is dedicated to spices. I don't use it for coffee for the obvious reasons. So here's what I do. Take some peppers that you want to make into powder. Now when making powder, you don't want to grind up the entire pile of peppers all at once. And the reason is, is that whole spices stay fresher longer than powders do. So what I end up doing is when I make powder, this is uh, Jamaican hot chocolate powder from last year. Um, I'll use, I'll make about twice as much as this. So this whole big container will only have about twice as much as this powder. And the reason why I do that is it stays fresher longer. So here we go with the grinding. It takes a minute. Okay, that ought to do it. Now you might be tempted to take that lid off right away to see how it turned out. I don't recommend doing that, especially if you're in the house. Um, because this stuff has been powdered and you open this up right now, it's going to go up in the air, it's going to get in your nose, get in your eyes, you're going to annoy your family. 
So you got to let it sit for a couple minutes. So while I'm doing that, I want to discuss something else. It's called Blossom and Rot. Uh, it's a pathology that happens to peppers. This pepper here, Buchalokia, but this can represent any pepper. If you have peppers that turn color early and they have a black spot like that on there, they've got what is known as blossom end rot. And what it is, is it's a calcium deficiency in the plant. It means your soil doesn't have enough calcium in it. Now you can use um, bone meal, you can use eggshells, anything that has calcium, but I've found that Tums work really good and they're fast. I amend my soil with uh, bone meal every year and I still get blossom end rot. So I think what it is is it takes bone meal time to break down to become available to the plant. Uh, so if I start getting peppers right away that look like this, that instantly tells me that I need to do something right now about my calcium levels. Okay. So in order to get something fast that works, I take a bottle of Tums or something else, an antacid. You can get generic antacids because they're all the same. You know, you get them at the dollar store or whatever. And all they are is calcium carbonate and when I get peppers that look like this I dissolve a bottle like half a bottle of this into a, a watering can this disappears instantly not instantly of course you have to pick these off and throw them away but the following peppers um, don't have that problem so just a little tip for you uh, something that I it took me a long time to figure this one out. So I'm giving this tip to you for free. I hope you can use it and enjoy it. Okay, so that's that. Now here we are. We've waited a minute or two. And here we have Fatali powder. It's just as easy as that. And this powder that I just made is going into this jar. And like I say, it's only going to be about this much in the jar. That way I can keep making it when I run out. And it's the freshest powder that you can possibly have. I haven't tasted it yet. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the next time I have something that I want to use a hot powder on, I'm going to use it. Over here, just real quick, um, last video there was a frost imminent and I ended up picking all the largest green peppers off. Uh, majority of them came from the Buchalokia. Some of these are going to make it. Some of them got rotten, like that one that had the calcium deficiency. So uh, I'm still waiting to see if these will completely turn or what's going to happen with them. I'm not really too concerned about it because I've got plenty. I mean, this one looks pretty good. Okay, one last look at all this. Um, I keep these in a, a paper bag right now. But it would be a good idea to keep it in an uh, airtight container like this. This is just an old coffee container. Or a jar will work like this. Any jar, something like that. Even a bag. Well, here you go. Uh, next, I'm going to go outside and show you the current state of my peppers.
I also want to point out to you that uh, this is the food dehydrator I used to dry my peppers. Uh, it's got five different levels. You can hold quite a few in there at one time. If you're planning on doing this, if you don't live in a uh, hot climate like Arizona, you'll probably need one of these. If you live in Arizona, you can put these peppers out in the sun and they'll dry for you. But uh, up here where it's humid and cooler, and you need something like this. And it takes hours. It takes uh, probably about 8 to 10 hours, I've found. Okay, so since I am making another video, I might as well show you what's going on with my peppers again. Uh, this is that, what I like to refer to as my stubborn Jamaican hot chocolate. Uh, I, I have a little greenhouse that I was keeping in my shed. This is like the first time I've ever used it, and I've had it for like 10 years. It really came in handy for this purpose. It's working great. I'll take the greenhouse off in a minute to show you what it looks like underneath. Uh, these are my Buccilochias. Uh They're not really producing anything anymore. Um, like I say, I think uh, the soil's deficient in calcium now. I haven't really been paying attention to it, so I'm not planning on getting anything else off these. But the plants themselves don't look half bad. This is the Fatali. Getting yellow. Um, just a sign of uh, nutrient deficiency. But like I say, it's too late to do anything anyway, so... Uh, it has been producing peppers. I still come out and get, you know, four or five here and there, so I'll just keep collecting them as long as I can. This is my Jamaican hot chocolate. Uh, I've been covering it. If the temperature gets below 45 degrees, I will come out and cover it. Um, still has peppers in here. And I will collect as many as I possibly can. I think next year I'm only going to grow a couple kinds of hot peppers and maybe uh, jalapenos. And then I think I'm going to concentrate more on some of the, uh, the sweeter peppers, sort of like my giant marconis. Um, here's uh, more chili peppers. You know, these things will keep growing until they freeze and uh, we dodge that bullet. Um, last video I thought my plants were done for and there was frost on top of the cars but uh, these things made it. Jalapenos, there might be still a couple in here actually, look at that. Um, giant Marconis, they wanna, you know, I said they wanna keep producing and that's what they're doing. Uh, even these small peppers are useful. You can cut these up and fry them, no problem. So I mean, there you go. I mean, these things want to keep producing, and it's October 1st. Uh, our state is so fickle on its weather that, uh, you know, we may freeze hard tomorrow, or we may have two more weeks of splendid temperatures. Okay, so my stubborn Jamaican hot chocolate, I've uncovered it now. Um... This is a plant that I grew from seeds that I collected. Uh, the seeds were slower to germinate than the ones that I bought. I don't know if that's a standard, I have no idea. But the peppers themselves look just like um, Jamaican hot chocolate habaneros. I haven't had a ripe one yet. Uh, hopefully I can get a few of those before this season comes to a complete end. Uh, the greenhouse has been helping. So that's pretty much it. There's a lot of green peppers on here though. So anyway, one last look. I would say this is my last video, but you know what happened last time, so I'll just say goodbye for now.